Hey guys and welcome to another Disney Vocaloid mashup where I reimagine one of the Disney princesses or characters as a Vocaloid mascot. If you don't know what a Vocaloid is, it's actually a digital software singer that can be modified with, by your wishes and your own design into a song, uh, even a whole orchestra if you like. So I found like a link between Disney and Japan's pop culture in Vocaloids because almost all of the Disney princesses are singers and today I will be drawing my favorite Disney princess well she's like more of a princess soldier uh, Mulan and I think she's a favorite to many people just because she's so different than standard princess stereotypes so I decided to draw her in form of a two personas she represents her normal self and her soldier self which I made to look a bit like um, a boy so I use the same size of the bodies and uh, the same size of their heads but I used uh, some details in different ways. Uh, if you want to learn how to turn a male character into a female character or vice versa, click here because here I will be explaining uh, this is my video where I actually explain how by just placing some details on the face differently you can actually purposefully create a male character into a female one and vice versa. This is really important because some people actually don't do it on purpose by, but uh, by accident and I am explaining in this video exactly how to prevent making this mistake if you don't want the desired effect. So, today I am doing a double feature for everybody and I truly hope that you like what I made because uh, Mulan, as I said before, is a really special uh, icon to me and a very special friend of mine asked me to actually draw out the male version as well as the female version we all know and thank you for that dum dum. So uh, I used two symbols to represent them, which they show up above their hands. Um, the female version's uh, symbol would be the flower, uh, which her father places in her hair, and uh, Mushu, the dragon guardian of the Famulan family, is represented as a hologram, uh, which is shown to be uh, originating from the male Mulan's hand. So I wanted this to be a powerful symbol, uh, opposite to the Mushu we all know. I just wanted to give him some credit for all of his um, symbolism and strength despite being so small and powerless. So I wanted to show him as a, as, as a really strong guardian spirit. As for Mulan, the both of the Mulan characters have really thick eyebrows, but as you can see, they both can uh, work it. And this is one of the rare princesses with uh, really black hair, which I won't be even making sh into a shiny version of hair. I'll just fill the entire surface in black CD marker, as I do in most of my uh, videos and just use that black surface to make the, the drawing even stronger looking. As you can see, no places in their hair are make, made to be any shinier or different than just a plain black surface. And this is something that's fun to do, especially with some parts of the armor, uh, just to make uh, the, the rest of the drawing, which I'll be coloring, to pop out more. As for the female uh, Mulan, I gave myself the liberty to actually pull down a thread of hair over her eye just to make it a little bit look more like a manga character. And I wanted to stylize my Disney Vocaloid princesses into a similar manner so they really do present a collection of drawings and I will be offering this collection of drawings uh, as sketched out, well, uh, HD downloadable line arts and 
HD downloadable scans for all of my patrons on my Patreon page. You can find in the description. Uh, as for shading, um, Mulan is one of the fair complexion princesses, so I didn't uh, need to use any kind of filling in of the entire surface of her face which is actually good because if you can uh, observe the gray area i'm filling in copics and generally manga markers leave um, this uh, texture which you can't blend completely and sometimes if you do a dark-skinned character that can um, look a little bit like their skin is uneven in tone which I personally don't like so I will be dreading the day when I do Tiana which is a dark skin character. So let's get back to uh, this drawing. As I said, uh, Vocaloids are mascots that are digitally made, so they represent some sort of um, uh, singing software program and their mascots actually have these little um, appendages and embroideries that in, the, in their clothes uh, which can be see-through, which can be uh, filled with little numbers and digits and graphs and just little technical gizmos. So I discreetly inputted some of the parts I saw on my uh, telephone or cell phone or my PC, any kinds of buttons and, and stuff you see on electronic devices, I try to input but really slightly into this traditionally looking Chinese clothes. Well, I don't know about Disney and how much it paid attention to real traditional Chinese clothing, but this sort of clothing does symbolize an older age, an ancient age, where they only had simple clothes to wear so I won't be exaggerating this time with many details. Um, I will just make a lot of um, ruffled fabrics on the male version because she's wearing um, soldier's armor and that makes her body look so much chunkier and more buff like she was an actual male. I did tweak her face a lot so that she does resemble a hunky male. So she's right there in between. In between a um, girl wearing a male armor or just being a handsome young man. So you will, you can never guess what I actually um, did. Well, I told you. It's up to everybody's imagination, I guess. Uh, as for the, the little shadings, I used only two shades of each color and to save on Copics and generally to save on markers, you should think a lot about uh, how you use them and which colors to stock on, stock up on. So uh, whenever you want to shade several types of different colors, you can always use a gray uh, marker like N4 marker and you can use it to equally shade every color. So that's a trick that I tend to use but this time I wanted to splurge a little because Mulan deserves it and decided instead of brown color I would be shading the red areas with the dark red uh, shade of Copic. And also I decided to use this little symbol from the movie and that's the ribbon she used to actually solve the tricky puzzle on the area with, uh, with the, um, the long pole and to make it float like a red ribbon symbolically around the male version. And of course the white gel pen is always then there for the rescue. Uh, it's a really wonderful and, and easy tool to make, to actually use and it divides everything nicely and makes a drawing even more expressionable and of course I use it to place tiny little um, digital details on the buttons on their, um, on their uh, dashboards and a little dashboard um, threads in their clothes. So I hope my English hasn't been too much terrible to understand this time, but I really hope that you like this connection of the traditional clothing and some modern technology all mixed in with Vocaloids and Disney Princesses.
and they're done if you like what you see and want to see more of secret snapshots additional materials download the line art and the original in the hd quality you can subscribe to my patreon and you can find the link in the description as for all of you who want to learn how to draw this way you can always buy my book manga crash course where i explain in detail how to exactly make characters like this one with detailed explanations about faces bodies uh, expressions clothes etc and all the tools i have been using in this video are listed down in the description with all the links on amazon where you can purchase your own tools i hope you enjoyed the video and see you guys next time